Hey everybody, Drone Tech here. Hey, I just wanted to give my two cents on the whole Kyle Kushev thing. Uh, as many of you likely already know, uh, he's getting kicked out of Harvard before he even got in. Um, they have now rejected him. They had originally had accepted him, but now they've rejected him because uh, some people had gone out and found some old posts that he made when he was 16 years old, and they were, you know, racist and anti-Jew and that kind of thing. And uh, you know, he was 16 when he do it when he did it, and uh, he's I believe he's 18 now, so it wasn't really that long ago. And uh, you know, my initial instinct about this was just to say, you know, you know, he was a kid. He's apologized. Obviously, that's not you know who he is. Uh, and it, it definitely seems like. You know, since he is out there pro Second Amendment, pro gun, pro gun rights, that uh, obviously he's going to be a target of the left and the media, and he has from the beginning. But I'll, I'll go back to that here in a minute. But real quick, guys, before we continue, just wanted to thank this channel sponsor, uh, Ripti.com. Uh, if you need some underwear, go over there and get it. You might as well because they're U.S. made, and uh, they are pro free speech, and they're supporting a YouTuber who's been kind of screwed over by YouTube. So. If you do go over there and get something, make sure to use the 20% off drone tech code. Also, just want to say real quick that uh, Trump Fan Network got shut down yesterday. He has no idea why. Uh, and I feel his pain. My, my channel got shut down uh, last year for three months. I had no idea why. I have no idea why I got it back. It just was gone for three months and then back. So uh, go on over and subscribe to him at Trump Fan Network 2. Uh, he's got some pretty good videos. I like his stuff. You know, it's too bad. You know, I really hope it doesn't happen to me. If it does, head on over to my BitChute channel, which is just uh, bitshoot.com channel forward slash drone tech. And uh, I'm up to almost 300 subscribers now, 295. Go ahead and put me over. Um, I haven't been uploading a ton there, but I do plan on it. There, there were some issues with uploading that I'm figuring out. Uh, issues with the site. Uh, BitChute's got some problems I need to work out. Back to Kyle Kushev. So... I read some of the stuff that he said here just recently. Uh, you know, he said, you know, F in words, and uh, he did say something to the effect of kill all Jews. Um, and, you know, that's pretty bad stuff. And, and a lot of people are saying, oh, he's just a kid. Kids say stupid things. And, you know, that's, that's true. Kids do say stupid things. But, you know, I never said anything like that as a kid. I. I was kind of a nerd in school. I got picked on, and I was friends with all the minority students. Uh, we had, you know, I was in a country school. We had a couple black students, um, some Cambodian students, some uh, half Japanese students, and we were all a big group of friends at the time, and all through college actually. Um, but so I never, I never did anything like that. But you know what I did do? I did uh, make a map, uh, a custom map of my high school in the game Doom. And uh, apparently, that's another thing that Kyle Khrushchev did, or he he made a comment that they should make a map of his high school. And I think maybe he even says something for practice. Um, which, you know, I don't think that's that big of a deal, really. Again, I, you know, I made a map of my high school when I was in, when I was in high school. And even back then, I thought, oh, this is a little risky, you know, because I believe Columbine had happened by, at that point. Um, I didn't graduate till 97. Um, but so, I mean, some of the things that he said were kind of, I would say, iffy, a little, a little far, I would say. But at the same time, I, I do think that he's grown up now and he should get another chance. And Harvard, you know, Ben Shapiro made the point, which I agreed with him, uh, saying that, you know, Harvard is a university. You're supposed to be teaching kids, showing them the way, you know, creating uh, an in intelligent adults. Uh, and so that they should be, you know, up to the challenge of Kyle Khrushchev, who seems like a pretty rounded guy at this point. I mean, he he is a survivor of of Parkland, which, uh, you know, I'm really surprised that the media is treating him in the way that they are uh, because he is a survivor. And, you know, who else was a, a survivor it was David Hogg. Look at how the media treated him far differently. You know, and, and I haven't seen him in the media lately. Maybe they started realizing how bad it looked. But, he, you know, there for a while, he was all over the media. They were parading him everywhere, and he was this big hero because what? Because he was anti-Second Amendment, anti-gun. Uh, he, he supported Democrats. So that makes him the good guy in the eyes of the media. And Kyle Khrushchev was just like the, you know, 
he he's like the stormtrooper walking in. He's the pro gun guy, so he, he's instantly the bad guy. And he did not get favorable coverage. You know, the media treated him badly, and uh, it. You know, this is what happens to every prominent conservative or right leaning person. I mean, you don't even have to be a conservative anymore, really. But they've gone further than just, you know, calling him a racist, calling him an anti Semite, and all that. They've gone even further than that now. And they're actually saying that, and, and this is a former GOP uh, congressman that said this, who's now an MSNBC contributor. So that means he's, you know, now he's a far left nut job, apparently. But he actually got on MSNBC and said that uh, Kyle Khrushchev showed signs of being a mass shooter. So it wasn't enough that they called him a racist and an anti-Semite. Now they're actually now they're calling him a mass shooter as well. Uh, and I'll let you see this for yourself. Immediate reaction when I really dug into this is these are the social media postings we see of a shooter, and we ask where were the signs. See something, say something. We see a shooter, and then we go back and we look at social media posts, and this is exactly what we see. So, <laughs> and you, you know something? Uh, go into any 16-year-old social media post, especially in regards, because he's, he's specifically talking right here about the CSGO map that, that he was talking about making, and maybe the other stuff too. He's kind of just combining it all in. Um, so, you know... You go to any kid, probably. Now, you're probably going to find similar kind of stuff, like, oh, I hate the jocks, fuck the jocks, and all that kind of thing. Uh, you're probably going to see a lot of that. And, you know, it's it's funny. This reminds me of uh, when they used to blame video games all the time. Oh, if, you, if you're playing a lot of these violent video games, and it was Doom at the time. You remember, I made a Doom map of my high school, but Doom was the game at the time that they thought was inciting these mass shootings. And, they, you know, so anybody that played video games, a potential shooter, well, this idiot is now saying that, oh, because he made these postings when he was 16, he's now a mass shooting, he, he's a possible mass shooter. And why is he likely a mass shooter? The, his, the other reasoning that he gives here is he says, so, the, you know, Stephanie Rule actually is asked if he's going too far. And he says, no, no, it's not. Because if an incident were to occur, and again, I'm not saying it will with this young man, but <laughs> which he is saying that, but these are the exact posts we will find of people, particularly those who advocate for gun or stronger gun rights. So right there, this guy, this supposed GOP congressman, he, he apparently used to be a Republican, is actually saying that, you know, people that advocate for stronger gun rights, that's, that's like a sign of a mass shooter. So we're all, if, if you're pro-Second Amendment, you are a potential mass shooter now. All of this, all of this kind of crap is ultimately just meant to demonize everybody on the right, all opposition to the left and to the Democrat Party. I mean, that's what all of this has in common. If you look at just everything that's going on right now between, you know, the media uh, constantly demonizing Fox News and people on the right and promoting Democrats or, you know, if it's the tech giants and censoring, you know, all opposition, it all seems to be going one way against the right. Or on university campuses where not even a guy like Ben Shapiro can go without being accused of being a white supremacist with Antifa showing up and starting violence in order to get that speech shut down. I mean, these people are just going crazy. And, uh, you know, something else I found interesting was in this article, you know, they made a point uh, that he called, he was blaming people on the liberal left, and they put that in quotes, and they, they kind of treat it like, oh, the liberal left, like it's a conspiracy theory or something. Uh, I, I found that real interesting because uh, just recently, uh, the Media Research uh, Center did a study, and they, I believe they did another one a couple years ago, and it came up with pretty much the same results. But they uh, analyzed and reviewed coverage of all the 2020 Democrats on ABC, CBS, NBC, on all the evening news programs from January 1st through the 15th. And as early as it is, the Democrats have already been featured or mentioned a total of 220, uh, a total of 220 evening stories, or nearly four hours, 222 minutes of airtime. And the thing about this coverage is, is they're using the, these terms. So when they're when they're talking about Democrats, they're using the term progressive most, it seems, or self-described Democrat socialists. So, you know, they're not outright calling him a socialist. They're saying self-described. So it's like he's not really. That's just sort of a label he gives himself. Or they use liberal, or they use centrist, or moderate, or populist. Uh, and so this is all in describing the Democrats. They never say far left. They never say ultra left or ultra liberal. They never say radical or extreme or fringe in, 
in referencing Democrats. Now, they sure as shit will do that if they're talking about Republicans. You know, you'll hear far right, ultra conservative. Uh, they list kamikaze conservative, although I've not seen that one before. But this is it. I don't think you really need a study uh, to, to know that this is true. I mean, anybody who watches the news, just watch the news. You're not. There are several things you're never going to see or almost never see in the media if you watch network or cable news. You're not going to see hit pieces on Democrats. They're not going to be, you know, trying to demonize or discredit a Democrat. Uh, never. Uh, they won't be. They will be going after some Republican or some Republican cause or uh, grassroots Republican protest, like the Tea Party. They'll be going after those people or trying to discredit those people. And you're going to hear lots of ultra conservative, right wing, alt right, far right. You're going to hear that a lot in and in reference to bad things. Uh, but you're not going to hear any of these labels. So they have lots of labels for us. Then they, they don't have only positive ones for them. And you know it's. It's not really fair because the the Democrats are pretty extreme um, for a centrist in this country, much less a, a right leaning uh, American. I mean, doubling the federal minimum wage, tearing down existing barriers on the U.S. Mexican border. I mean, you got Elizabeth Warren, who literally was out there calling herself a Native American. Trump called her out on it. The media attacks Trump, and Trump ends up being right. I mean, what do you say about that kind of a person who lives her life like that, telling, getting advantages by lying about your heritage like that? And yet she still enjoys uh, good coverage by the, from the media, and she gets the progressive and liberal title. I think we can expect more of this going into the 2020 election and after going forward. Uh, the media is corrupt, and uh, they are basically just a tool of the Democrat Party to use against their political opposition, which is us. Uh, you know That's why all these forces are aligned against us, from the media to Hollywood, universities, and the tech giants. So uh, we just got to keep doing what we're doing, help each other, like and share each other's videos, and uh, hopefully we can get some reach and change some people's minds, maybe counterbalance uh, what the media has done and is continuing to do anyway that's all i got for you today folks uh please like share and subscribe make sure to go to my bit shoot channel and uh, check that out go to trump fan network 2 and uh, subscribe to that and as always if you want to support this channel further head on over to patreon or subscribe star you can uh, subscribe to me there uh, monthly for five dollars i would really appreciate it and if you just want to shoot me a donation head on over to paypal uh, you can find all those links in the description and in the pinned comment thanks see you next time